What's going on guys? So this is a new playlist we're going to be talking about animating mathematics and physics and how I'm going to go about doing this. So let's go ahead and just get started. This is going to be an introduction to this playlist, so I'm not going to go into any code right now. I'm just going to talk to you about what this playlist is going to be like. We're going to go through Manum, we're going to go through Matplotlib, we're going to go through many different types of Python packages that will help us in animating things. The intent here is to show you guys my process, even though I haven't really put out any animation stuff yet, but I want to show you guys, or I want to provide a sort of a go-to source on how to do this type of stuff, and then we'll dive deep into the physics later. So as you know, I've been talking about quantum field theory, the statistical field theory, um, conformal field theory, uh, general relativity, and we're, we've been going into this in quite depth. What I want to try to do is bring all these equations to life, right? So the point of this channel is to try to go deep, to do a deep dive into these topics, but I think animations are going to help. And so not only am I going to animate the physics, I'm going to show you how we animate the physics using these various types of packages. And I'm going to do this in a unique way, hopefully. I'm going, we're going to be talking about the program, the, we're going to be talking about the coding, as you see here on the screen. Here's just a little example. This example, I have some random code, and alongside of it, I have the um, what it looks like. So all the code is on the on the left side of the screen here, and what it looks like is on the right side of the screen here. My setup, I'm using VS Code for random. We're going to be using VS Code for most of the stuff, and. Uh, including Matplotlib and other types of programs that we're going to use to create all of these really nifty and fancy animations. And then what I also want to do is go over to this screen. So here, this is just a blank canvas, but I want to be able to uh, swipe between two screens so that we can um, utilize our understanding of animations by doing the actual coding, but also if we want a theoretical understanding of this, I have a whiteboard. And so this whiteboard here, I'll be able to draw stuff, right? I have, uh, I have a, a pen tool to do this. And um, it, this is just really gonna be, um, this is just gonna be a free for all, right? So if I wanna try to get some topic across on I don't know, some sort of a how some code works from a more theoretical perspective, I have this whiteboard. So the types of programs that I'm going to, we're going to be working on are going to be really diverse. The main types are going to be uh, Matplotlib, obviously, or let's actually Manum. Also, we're going to start, kickstart this with Manum. Um, actually, let's get rid of those. Manum. Matplotlib. Uh, we're also going to go through some other, maybe a little bit lesser known things. Um, Samson, when we start going through some more molecular molecular uh, animations. Samson, Tim, S O N. Samson, wait, why this pen is really finicky. Uh, Samson uh, one angstrom. If you look this up, uh, Samson one angstrom is um, a tool that is used to animate and model three D structures, uh, primarily chemical structures and protein structures. But we're going to go through that. We're also going to go through the big three D guy, which is Blender. All right. And these are gonna be like the big guys. And then we're gonna go through some other more, a little bit less traditional uh, stuff like um, PyTorch. And um, what was the other, uh, PyTorch. And then there's uh, TensorFlow. Because what I, what I wanna to try to do is I wanna really try to illustrate tensors in a mathematical way and, and, and in a way to, that can be animated. And I have access to 
a GPU system for the short time being. We'll see how long that lasts. But the point here again is to get this here, which is the, 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 the get to understand these coding packages and the, primarily man in the net butlib. And then this over here, again, which is the code, we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to uh, understand what classes are, how we define classes in Manum, for example. And this is just a Manum example that I have on the screen right now, but we'll be able to also go through MetPotLib and all these other um, uh, courses as well. We're also going to be able to go through, um, what we're going to, I want to plan on going through all the Adobe software that is also useful. So things like Adobe Illustrator, um, Adobe uh, After Effects, right? So here we have After Effects Animate as well. And uh, yeah, so this is going to just be, this is an intro, so it's not going to be too long. The point here, again, is that we want to implement animations to be able to illustrate complex ideas, okay? Complex ideas specifically in mathematics and physics. And so with that being said, I'm going to aim to have these get pumped out maybe once every two days, okay? And so, and these are all going to be free, right? So understanding how to do animations and all that, that's all going to be, to, that's all going to be free. So with that being said, uh, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.